praise the living Jesus Christ, children of God, wherever you are, listen to this telecast as you remain, your humble servant, evangelist, which are not Now we are still dealing on the topic, keeping marriage for the next generation. One of the episodes, six, the sixth question. The question there is, what is the right time for the partner to keep quiet? The right time for the man to keep quiet while the woman is talking. The right time for the man to keep quiet while the man is talking. I want to look at the Bible because each part of the body created by God, God created them for a purpose. And if we don't know how to use, uh, uh, maximize each of the body, which is gift that God has given to us, we, are, we may not know when the devil has taken over that particular part of the body to cause problem in our lives. The Bible said in the book of Hosea 4, 6, it said, my people are destroyed, they are going to captivity because of lack of knowledge. If you look at the book of James chapter 3, I want to read from verse 2. It said, for in many things we offend all. If any man offend not in words, the same is a perfect man and able also to bring to the whole body. Now, if you read this James chapter 3, from verse 1 to the end, you talk about where James was talk addressing the, the tongue. The tongue, the, if you go to verse, verse 6, you say the tongue is a fire, a word of iniquity. So it is the tongue among our members that it defiles the whole body and set it on fire, the course of nature, and it is set on fire of hell. No matter who you are, whether you are anointed or not, if you don't know how to bridle your tongue, how to make use of this wonderful gift that God has given to us, instead of using it to glorify God in your marriage, you use it to destroy your home. So, most times, you know, women they are gifted to talk. That is their nature. It is not everything your wife say that you must respond. Men are gifted in their fist. So the strength of every woman is in their mouth. The strength of every man is in your fist to go and use that hand to make money, not to beat your wife. But women, they talk. Most times, they say some certain things. All you need to do as a man, you keep quiet. The moment you begin to respond, to what she's saying, or the moment he be, she begins to respond to what the ogre is saying, the husband is saying, there's going to be a problem. Men, there are many men that are not broken. They believe that when they are talking, women should not talk. Women are made to be seen, not to be heard. So when, and whenever they make any decision, they are not expecting the woman to respond. And if you, as a woman, you, you discover that this is a life of your husband at that moment you are to keep by it there's always a time for you to approach that man and say something about what he has just said it is not when he's talking you are talking that is you are putting fire i mean fuel in a fire so there's a time wisdom demands because the bible say wisdom is a principal thing two of you will not be mad at the same time Wisdom demand that when the man is boiling, you calm down. And you, sir, wisdom demand that when your wife is boiling, you calm down. By the time she's done, then you call her. By the time he's done, then you call him and say, sir, this day, or madam, my wife, what about this? What about that? Now, even though that man is devil himself, or that woman is devil herself, at that moment, you have captured her. So, time for you to keep quiet. It's not when the woman is talking, when the, uh, the, the husband is talking, you need to keep quiet. And when he finish talking, if, if there's a level when a man will be talking to you, you're not talking. It will call, occur to him that is he mad? That the woman I'm even talking to is not even responding. That man, and tomorrow he said the same thing, he did not answer. Next, he said, he, he asked that way, he didn't answer. Nobody will tell him to sit up. Nobody will tell him that, uh-uh. I am the only one talking here. That means something is wrong with me. So at that moment, my dear sister or my dear brother, you have 
laid a glorious foundation for that man or that woman to take correction. I don't know the situation on ground in your marriage now because of the issue of the use of mouth. God wants to restore peace in your home. Wherever you are, my dear sister, wherever you are, my dear brother, there is nothing God cannot do. Your mouth is like fire or your husband or your wife. But one thing I must tell you, invite Jesus Christ. The more Jesus Christ take over that situation, that marriage, there will be peace. That mouth you are using to insult, to cause, will become a mouth you use to praise your husband, praise your wife, and praise God. And the name of God be glorified. Invite Jesus Christ this day, wherever you are, I pray that every home, this moment, the devil has tried to put a fire or turn upside down in the name of Jesus Christ is delivered. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Remember, Jehovah is our God, our fighter. Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.